Hi, this is Nasya Davos. In this video, I'll show you how to start your quit smoking journey in three steps. And you need these three steps because most of the times, quitting seems scary and overwhelming and hard. So you postpone it for later, for next week and then the week after and the one after that until you forget about it, right? Well, one of the reasons we postpone quitting is that we don't know where to start. And that's the reason we procrastinate with most things. We see what we have to do as a giant mountain of things we can't possibly tackle, so we don't. But what happens if we break our intimidating goals into more approachable steps? What happens is that we feel more confident to take the first step and then the next one and the next. So, the first three steps I will share with you come from the first quit smoking stage of the CBQ method, which is choose to quit. And one of the things you do at this stage is you prepare to quit. So now let's dive into the three steps that will help you kickstart your quit attempt. Ready? Okay, so step one is choose your quit date. See, when you think about quitting, you might feel overwhelmed because there are just so many things to do and so many things to consider, and this can be paralyzing. So if you decide when to stop smoking, this will help you move forward because when you set a quit date, you're making your goal to quit more specific, more real, more tangible. So pick a quit date that feels right but is challenging at the same time. Quit in a week, two weeks or a month, it's up to you. Now listen, you might end up quitting a bit earlier or a bit later, later than your quit date, and that's okay. It still helps to pick a date, because if you don't set a quit date, then you might easily postpone your attempt for later, and many times later becomes never. So now take out your calendar, select a date, and write, I am quitting smoking. Now let's go to the best part, step two. Step two is to create your quit list. A quit list will help you feel ready to quit. It will help you find quitting easier and it will increase your chances of success. But what is a quit list? It's a list of all the things you need to do before smoking your last cigarette. That's it. And it's best if you prepare this list now. And to help you get started, I will give you the three most important items that should be on your quit list, but please feel free to pause the video anytime you need to and add what you think will help you, okay? So item one on the list is, I have thrown or given away all my ashtrays, lighters and cigarettes on the day before my quit day. See, it's common to quit and keep cigarettes around you just in case you need them. You don't need them. Don't make this mistake. This is your addiction trying to trick you. To succeed, it's best to cut off every single opportunity to take a puff. Because if you have cigarettes around you, then you might have to fight the urge to smoke with willpower. But if cigarettes are out of your sight, it will be easier to get them out of your mind too. Now, item two is I am prepared and know how to fight cigarette cravings. For this item on your list, Plan how to overcome your cravings before you experience them. If you have a plan of how to deal with your cravings, this will increase your confidence and therefore it will increase your chance of success. And I have added some links under the video about how to overcome cravings. The next item is, I have written down my reasons to quit smoking and I have this list with me all the time. Now, don't worry about that. We'll do this small exercise together in step three. And the last item for your list is, I know what things to do instead of smoking. Again, the key is to plan your daily routine without smoking before you quit. When you quit, especially during the first few days, you will need something to keep yourself busy. Even better, replace smoking with a new healthy habit. By the way, this is one of the things you do at the fourth stage of the CBQ method. But at this point, you can just choose what to do instead of smoking. Okay, I know this was a lot. We're almost done. Now pause the video and add things to your quit list. 
what do you need to do before you quit smoking? Please don't leave it for later. Pause the video now. I'm waiting for you. Okay, now that you're back, let's move to the third step, which is to write your reasons for quitting smoking. I also call this the golden list. This simple exercise will take you a few minutes, but it can make your quit attempt successful. See, even though you know why you want to quit, you probably have never just taken the time to write your reasons down and reflect on them without any guilt. Because when you write your reasons down, you strengthen your desire to quit. And when your desire to quit grows stronger than your desire to smoke, then quitting becomes easier. And now it's the perfect opportunity to do this exercise. So let's do it together. Take a pen and a piece of paper and write the top 10 reasons why you want to quit smoking. Write down anything that comes to your mind. Really, just write it down. It just has to make sense to you. Do you want to feel and be healthier, more alive? Would you like to feel closer to your family and loved ones? Do you hate how cigarettes make you smell? Would you like to breathe better? Do you want to save money? Do you want to just prove people wrong, people who doubted you or told you that you couldn't quit? Whatever motivates you, keep writing. How would it be if you didn't have to interrupt your life to go smoke? How would it feel if you could say, no, I don't smoke anymore? How proud would you feel if you inspired others to quit too? So do it now. Pause the video if you have to and write how you imagine yourself and your life as a non-smoker. Okay, welcome back. Now you know how to start your quit smoking journey in three steps. One, set a quit date so you can look forward to quitting. Two, make your quit list so you can find quitting easier. And three, write down 10 reasons why you want to quit smoking. And when you go through a challenging time, look at that list and remember why you wanted to quit smoking in the first place. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this to help you quit smoking. See you soon.